everyone welcome to our channel tech initializer so today we will be going to discuss about the topic Tanju Zemfire and its related concepts and terminologies and also we will be going through its basic cluster design what are the components that that are comprising of the cluster of Tanju Zemfire what is Tanju Zemfire it is an in-memory data grid that is powered by Apache Geode and it is a set of networked clustered computers that pool together their random access memory to let applications share data with other applications. It is highly scalable. It can scale up and scale down as per the usage and it achieves its using that data partitioning. So it has a very efficient event driven architecture and our client applications can subscribe to those real time events to react to changes immediately. So Tanju Zemfire's continuous queries notify our application when new data is available which reduces the overhead on your SQL databases. Also it makes use of a very efficient serialization protocol which is called PDX. We will be seeing it in our next video in the demo. And the key value storage. So Tanju Zemfire organizes our data in its servers in a key value storage which we call regions. We will see what regions are in the upcoming slide. So now let's discuss about the advantages of Tanju Zemfire. So first we use it for faster data access. Second it's highly scalable and it can scale up and scale down as per the requirements and it achieves it using data partitioning. It can be used as cache as well as a database. So we can configure our servers to use it as a cache and also as a database by persisting the data in the disks. And also it eliminates the bottlenecks faced by the relational database as the data grows because we can spin up more servers in the Gemfire cluster if the data is increasing. And we can also configure the schemes if the data grows. So if we have a large amount of data then we can use the partition regions and if we have medium sized data then we can use replicated regions so that we will see in our next slide so this is the basic pivotal Gemfire cluster so in the left hand side we have our client applications that will be connecting to a Gemfire cluster so Gemfire cluster comprises of locators and servers mainly so locators you can consider locators as a service discovery as well as the load balancers and uh, they contain all the information of all the servers so whenever a new server comes up it registers it with the locator and whenever it goes down so locators will also remove that information. So client can connect to the locators to get the information of the servers. Servers are the main part of the cluster where our data is hosted. So servers host our data in the form of regions. We will be seeing reg what regions are in our next slide. So Pivotal Gemfire organizes our data onto the servers in the form of regions. So regions is the data structure like that of a concurrent hash map and stores our data in a key value pair where key is always unique. So you can consider regions as tables like that we have tables in a traditional database. So now we know what regions are. Let's discuss what types of regions are supported by Gemfire. So first is the partitioned region. So as the name suggests, your data will be partitioned among multiple members of the cluster. So it is suitable for large data sets, for example, in an e-commerce application where we have a large amount of data. For example, we have customers and orders, then we can make use of partitioned regions. So it has really good write performances. Since all the servers does not contain all the data, hence the writes will be performed only on the servers where the data is present. So hence it has good write performance. Second type of region is replicated regions. So as the name suggests all the data will be present on all the servers. So it is suitable for small or medium data sets. So it has a very high performance data access since all the servers contains all the data so client can connect to any server and can get the data. But the writes will be really expensive here. Why? Because the, all the servers have all the data. So if a write is happened to one server, then it has to propagate it to all the servers in the cluster. So that's why it has really expensive writes. So third, third region is the local region. So here the 
no peer to peer distribution activity is there so data is not shared between the servers so the data will be confined to that particular node where that local region is defined so these are the important types of regions we have in pivotal gemfire in the next video we will be creating our own local gemfire cluster and will connect it with our spring boot client application thanks for watching the video please like share and subscribe to our channel for latest updates and videos